fulani imefata. Going to be bloody. Hey, ndwa nangu msaja. Wa rojo yenda huku kalakata. One of his young daughters got missed. Tomorrow when I become minister for crocodiles. Nobody can beat me. <laughs> I am the head prefect. I don't know who imposed the ban. The debate is about whether to package or not to package Waraji in small sachets. But guess who was giving his fiercest defense ever for such a packed Waraji? Your maverick trade minister, Kahindo Tafire. Now, honorable minister, why do you think packing alcohol in sachets is a good idea? Reason one? The fact that Waraji kills people. Waraji does not kill people. No. Uh, honorable. That is debatable. But anyway, give us your second reason. Baraji is a brand name. Bad alcohol kills people. If Baraji was killing people, there would be nobody in this country. <laughs> True. Baraji is not the only killer in Uganda. Reason three. Because we've been drinking Baraji for the last so because it is an old age habit, it should continue unregulated? I drank these tote packs when I was at secondary school in the 1960, and as you can see, I'm still around. <laughs> Sound and kicking, <laughs> you know? Huh? Now that is disturbing, Honorable Minister. You started drinking Waraji while in secondary school? Parents. Did you hear Honorable Tafire? I'd like to inform the Honorable Minister that when he took alcohol in secondary school, it was against the law because I don't think he was yet 18. Good comment there, madam. But how old was Honorable Tafire in 1960? Maybe that's what we need to know to understand his drink good waraji and make merry theory. Some people have died of AIDS, it's unfortunate. Are you going to shut down the reproductive capacity of the country? That's not what they are saying, Honorable Minister. Are you going to close the roads because there are accidents on the road? Not at all, Honorable Minister. They are saying that too much waraji, especially contaminated ones, are killing Ugandans. If it's bad alcohol, whether you pack it in a circuit, whether you pack it in 25 millimeter bottle, or you pack it in a jerk can, it's bad alcohol. <laughs> Everything kills, even blood which saves life. Now to make a general statement that Warage does not kill is wrong. Because I know that Warage drunk chronically kills. The eloquent Kahindo Tafire made a spirited argument. And at the end of it all, he summed it up in one sentence. And this is human nature. This is what we call primitive capital accumulation. It's a stage in development. Now, this primitive capital accumulation saw opposition leader Chizabe Sije bad from a radio talk show in Karamoja this past week. But when he got a chance to ventilate, he used the instructive Chiswahili language to remind his adversaries why they exist. <laughs> kuwasaidia na utaramu wangu wa wa kiudaktari wengi wao hawangefika Kampala but in nakapiripirit it was time to switch from East Africa's lingua franca to the Queen's English i believe that if i was not in the bush most likely he would not have lived to come to government one if only I was a medical doctor. One people. Tony Mwangala, point blank. Very poor planning effort. Going to be bloody. Hey, one of his young daughters got missed. Tomorrow when I become minister for crocodiles, nobody can beat me. <laughs>